Barbarian! 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 as Ultragoth is being devastated by the Dark Lord <laughs> chuckles the silly piggy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fear the power of my mighty Chucklebot! <laughs> I'm a Chucklebot! Ah. Gotta hide! Gotta hide! No one would hurt a puppy. I'm safe. Hiding behind a puppy won't save you. <laughs> My puppy won't save you. I'm my word. You think? You bet. It's time to slap the hog. <laughs> Keep that monkey away. I'm not a monkey. <laughs> ah, the slap has befouled the gears of my precious machine. Ah! Luckily, the trouble bot is equipped with an ejection seat and parachute. I'm just glad no one was here to see that. I hate that monkey! Not a monkey! Oh, my little piggy uvula. It's bad enough you were letting Chuckles destroy the land, but you you hid behind a puppy! <laughs> that was really even for you, Dave. I know. I endangered this sweet little guy in a gutless attempt to save my own skin. I... I truly am a coward. Duh, that's why everyone calls you Coward the Cowardly Coward Boy. Well, no more! From here on out, I will be known as Dave the Brave! There's a spider on your neck. Ah, get it off of me! Get it off of me! Dave consults the wisest man in Udragoth. Well, uh, one of the wisest. Okay, one of the shortest. So you want courage, huh? Well, let's check the big book of magic. It says magical courage can be gained by jumping off the mountain of courage. No way! Bathing in the acid of courage. Next! Wearing the red sweater of courage. It's not a purpley red, is it? Dave! Okay, okay, I'll do it. Where is this sweater? For location of sweater, see page 492. There you go. This is it. When I don this sweater, I began a new chapter of my life. The old Dave will cease to be, but from his ashes will arise a... Put it on already, you blockhead! That's funny. I don't feel any fear. I know it not, for I laugh at danger. <laughs> Dave, that's great. Ha! <laughs> that's great. Now can we? <laughs> can we? Ha! <laughs> but... Ha! <laughs> you? Ha! <laughs> I? Ha! <laughs> ha! Are you done now? I believe so. You want to go find something dangerous and heroic to do? Yes, I do! Hooray! Dave is a brave guy! Dave, Dave and Feng set out to do all the horribly dangerous things Feng has always wanted to do, and Dave has been too afraid of, such as... fighting dragons! <laughs> Destroying evil castles. And most dangerous of all, criticizing a woman's fashion choices. Madam, that outfit is not entirely flattering. And yay, Dave's family is greatly pleased with his newfound courage. I'm so happy, Dave. You're exactly the kind of reckless, destructive hothead I've dreamed of. And I just love this dragon scale belt you got me. And I love this dragon scale scabbard. Don't forget my dragon horn hat. <laughs> what care I if you are pleased? I must have more danger. More danger! Yes, it seems Dave has become hooked on peril. And he's about to make the transition from incredibly brave to just plain stupid. Oh, what a charming sweater, are you? Huh? I'll get you for this! Ah, what? 
thanks. I was getting kind of stinky. Die, die, die. I shall have my... Pistachios! My, my corduroy sports coat! My, my revenge! I shall have my revenge! Uh. Thanks for the lift, guys! Sorry I got sick on your interstellar warp drive. Nice couple of fellows. I'll have to send them a muffin basket or... Couple! Ooh, boxers! Very fetching! So why the shorts, big guy? Without shorts, I can't give you a wedgie! Now that is just plain rude! Curse you, Dave the Barbarian! You will perish in agony or something like that! Soon, Dave's foolish villain taunting reaps a bitter harvest! <laughs> it's a bitter harvest! Now, Dave the Barbarian! Um, excuse me. Why, you... Ooh, aren't you the Dark Lord Chuckles, the silly piggy? And you're the evil sorcerer, Mel Squando! You, sir, have unquestionably the best maniacal laugh in the business. <laughs> hey, hey! Why, if it isn't Crosmere. Well, I'll be! How's every little thing? Oh, fair to Midland. You know what we should do? Mini golf! Mini golf! We should team up to whack the stuffing out of Dave the Barbarian and his whole stinky old kingdom! One for all, and all for... Revenge! revenge. <laughs> nice maniacal laugh. Best in the business. Thus do our heroes' three most villainous foes set out to destroy the land of Udragoth. <laughs> Chuckles uses the mystic amulet of Hog Swango. Mouse Quando uses his magic wand. <laughs> And Quasnir uses his terrible flaming loogies. Are you looking for something, sweetie? I am looking for... Um, uh... We got that. <laughs> oh, his head is all squishy. Oh, stop it. My brain's in there. Dave, what did you do? I arranged for Chuckles, Mousquando, and Quasmir to attack Udragoth all at once. Now that is danger. Yes, sir, Bob. Ah! We're doomed! No one can defeat all those villains! They can! He always saves the day! Usually. None can withstand my might! The normal Dave always saves the day because he does something smart. This new brave Dave is just gonna keep fighting until he gets squished into a mushy paste! No way! He's not that dumb! Okay, now I'm mad. Ah! Now we gotta get him back to normal. We have to destroy the red sweater of courage. Guys, leave this to someone with a knowledge of fine knitwear. Ah! Candy grabs a strand of yarn and the sweater begins to unravel. He just keeps coming back for more. <laughs> this is such fun. Right, Mr. Squishy Head? Oh, uh, you said it, Quasi. Ah! Okay, we have to work as a team. Now split up. Quick, think of something smart so we can beat the bad guys. Are you nuts? The three of them together are the most powerful force in the world. The only thing that could beat them would be them. You just thought of something smart, didn't you? We can beat those villains with the awesome power of paper mache. I need paper, glue, water, and paint. Stat! Working swiftly, Dave uses his mastery of paper mache to create... Pretty masks! Now, here's what we'll do. Mousquando! Any sign of Dave? Don't speak to me, you cute little ham roll! Cute? You'll pay for that! Snake boy! You dare mock my hairstyle! Um, you smell. Good or bad? Bad. I shall destroy you! Meow! Meow! I'm sorry, is this helping defeat the villains? Nah, I just like cats. Meow! You! Am 
and that's the name of that tune. Dave, I hate to say it, but I guess we're better off with you all wimpy and junk. It's good to have you back. Thanks, Fang. I... There's a spider on your neck. Ah! Spider! No, wait. It's just a lint ball. Ah! Lint ball! So, Quasmere, I'm moving back in with Mother. Join Dave as he faces the most terrifying force on Earth. You are never gonna believe this, but Goldar totally wants to angst. Girl. He probably felt sorry for her, right? Because she's like this complete pill, and that makes you like a child. Right? How am I supposed to know? But it is not only teen angst Dave must deal with. Nay, he must also take care of his entire family. I got an owie. <laughs> Kiss it better. Thanks. Oh, gotta go. Me too. See ya. Ow. Wait! What about my needs? Hey, you should be glad to get rid of those guys. But they promised they'd watch that puppet show with me. I rented him from Puppet Buster and he's due back by midnight. I give and give and give around here and do I get so much as a thank you? No, they just want more, more, more. Everyone wants a piece of me and all I want is a little appreciation. Is that too much to ask? Is it? Yep. Lula, Lula, Lula. What can I do? You could mope around to the accompaniment of a really bad pop song. Ooh, neat idea. Always fixing up their booze. Wiping the tears of their booze. Always there for all their whining. Always cooking up the dining. It's not that you think they hate you. Music video at an end. Dave accidentally wanders into Titan Meadows, a suburb of Udragov populated entirely by giants. The Jabbers! Daddy, look! He's so cute! He's lovable! So strong, head padding, so soothing, so relaxing. I, so sleepy. Barbarians do not get sleepy. Daddy, can I keep him? I don't know, Phoebe. I promise I won't let this one on the furniture, Daddy. Well, okay. But if he set so much as one paw on that sofa, he is G-O-N-E gone. Yay! And thus is the mighty Dave the Barbarian reduced to a mere pet. And no, Phoebe feeds him. Takes him walkies. And dresses him in ridiculous sweaters. I'm gonna call you Mr. Sweetie Saurus Q Vinklebottom. Oh, this is humiliating. David, isn't it time you gave that giant brat a piece of your mind? Not that you can spare it. Yes, it is. I love you, Phoebe. Yay! Oh, I'm throwing up. Maybe she's some chicken shoe, but at least she appreciates you. It may sound a little savvy, but you are 300 pounds of happy. Yeah. Meanwhile, far away from the ghastly music, Dave's family begins to suspect that something is wrong. I got it, are we? Hang on, something's missing here. I better check things out with my magical inspecto vision. Something cantaloupes. Dave's gone! No, he isn't. He's right here. <gasps> he vanished into thin air! Now that I think about it, I haven't actually seen Dave in a week or so. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, mystic enchanted crystal ball of power. What's up with Dave? He's been captured by giants, and they've paper trained him. I wouldn't have believed it possible. Giants? That means he's in Titan Meadows! To Titan Meadows! Yeah, our heroes do valiantly search for Dave. Hold, foul giant! Unhand your oppressive captain! Beardy Man talks funny, doesn't he, Mr. Binklebottom? He sure does, Phoebe. Dave! We're trying to save you from the horrible giant! 
This horrible giant takes care of me and appreciates me, unlike some people I can mention. He's talking about you guys. Uh, Got it. Right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm returning home with my beloved owner. Ta-ta. Can it be true? He'll be really treated Dave so badly? And more importantly, who cares? Obviously, the Titans have Dave brainwashed, but there's one way to get him back. Build a giant mechanical art bark that will crush all who oppose us? Okay, there are two ways, and one of them isn't impossible, and that's to challenge the Titans to a competition. Our pet against your pet. Winner gets both. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, tell you what. You win, you get all of us. That's me, my two nieces, and the dragon. But wait, there's more. You'll get an attractive carrying case handcrafted from genuine something. And if you order now, you'll also receive this pine cone painted to resemble a fish. Hot diggity dog, you're on. This is never gonna work. Nucky can't beat Dave. He's got the brains of a rutabaga. <laughs> you're right. We'll have to find someone to take his place. But who? Who could we possibly get? Who? Who, I ask you? Who? You really have no idea where this is going, do you? One day you're gonna pay for this. On my left, we have Dave. 300 pound pink belly barbarian hairless. And on my right, Fang, a 25 pound monkey. Not a monkey! Pets to their marks. This competition usually consists of speed and agility trials. You don't have a chance! But since this is the second Tuesday of the month, competition will center on the arts. Stoop! Hey, Dave, somebody defeats Fang in every artistic category. Puzzle it! Funny faces. No fair, he used his allergy. Ladies and giant men, we have a winner. Great, we're prisoners. I have absolutely no hair products, and the only food is this totally disgusting doggy kibble that no human being would ever eat. Mm, well, no human being. That'll teach him not to appreciate me. David, they went through that whole competition thing just to get you back. What's your point? They gave up their freedom for you. Uh, so you're saying... <coughs> Sorry, I just don't get it. Obviously, they really do appreciate you, you cabbage-headed nincompoop you. Oh my gosh, you're right. I've been selfishly enjoying the carefree life of a pet while my absence has caused my family terrible agony. I have to make it up to them. Now, if only I could free them somehow. If he sets so much as one paw on that sofa, he is G-O-N-E gone. G-O-N-E gone. G-O-N-E gone. G-O-N-E gone. Okay, I get the idea. Sorry. <laughs> Got it! Hey, buddy, you... <laughs> when that titan sees us on the sofa, he'll want to get rid of us and we'll be free. Who defiles my sofa? It's us, the pets. Guess you'd better throw us out now, huh? Nope. But you said if I got on the sofa, I'd be G-O-N-E gone. Gone like the dinosaurs. Ah! Phoebe, save us. You love your Mr. Pinklebottom, don't you? Nah, I've got a new pet now. Say hello to Mr. Piggy's cute Chucklebottom. I'm not a pet, you gargantuan ninny. I'm... Oh, oh head padding. So soothing. Ah. Wah, ha, ha, ha. Wah, ha, ha. Give the word! Turn right! What's the word? I vote for Sassafras! Turn! Oh. Curse you, sofa be smirching swine. Oh. Nicely done, Dave! Thanks. We should be okay. Ah! Do not fear. I am a member of the Resistance here to help you. We have arranged for you to be transported to safety. You will be taken by Zeppelin to the port of Jantropia. There, you will meet a Bolivian circus acrobat named Loretta, who will take you to a safe haven in Outer Untenza disguised as self-cleaning events. Or I can just call you a taxi. Sounds good. Like a taxi! <laughs> One taxi ride later. We promise we'll never take your hard work for granted again, because even though we don't always show it, we really do appreciate you. That's why we got you this. Guys, I'm touched. This is a list of things you want for dinner. Yeah, and doorknobs that need tightening. I don't know what to say. How about dinner's almost ready? Okie doke. I'll start right away. But first, I think I need to appreciate myself a little with a puppet show. <laughs> Take
take the plunge under the sea with Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder in The Little Mermaid. Coming up next, here on Disney Channel.